Ironman, B Modified, B Main A Main Event, Scott Drake is a pole setter in the 12D along with Brian Bolin in the 28. Bobby Maggard and Trevor Drake break make up row number two. In row number three, it'll be Brian Rigsby and Dan Wheeler. Row four, Tim Van Gotten and Jacob Lees. Row number five, Riley Whitworth and Jake Tim. Row six, Corey Krapser and Colt Cheevers. Row seven, Troy Hobie and Sean Strong. Row number eight, Dustin Daniels and Chris Jackson. Row number nine, Jason Schlangen and Jeremy Chambers. Row 10, Steve Goodman and Curtis Drescher. Row 11, Tyler Peterson and Nick Newton. And our 12th and final row, Chad Feather and Logan Martin. 24 drivers going at it for a thousand bucks to win here tonight. 20 big laps for a Iron Man B modified A main event. B modified fans, racers, a big round of applause for their racing this weekend. They've done a fantastic job here putting on some great competition for you fans. Next time around, we will go green with our B mods. Yes. All right, here we go. Green flag flies, and we are underway for the Iron Man B Mods. Scott Drake and Brian Bowen take a mound into turn number one. Right from the get-go, Scott Drake takes that number 12 D machine out front. Brian Bowen right there in that second spot. Bobby Maggard in the 101 now challenging as we bring him off of four for lap number one. Two-man battle up front between Drake and Bolin. On back behind them, Trevor Drake now takes over that third spot. Bobby Maggard right there in fourth. Good side-by-side -side action as well. Brian Bolin, just like last night, can get off turn two down on the low side. Will that be to his benefit? We'll watch him off of four. Bolin down low. Drake up high to the line. Give it to Drake for another lap. Trevor Drake now holds down that third position. Bobby Macker now slips back to fifth. Meanwhile, back up front, it's too good not to call as Brian Bolin has now got to the inside of Scott Drake. Again, Drake will hold off for lap four. The man on the move, Dan Wheeler, in that red number one machine, the red one, up to the third spot. Good run by Dan Wheeler right now. Trevor Drake holds down fourth, Bobby Maggard in fifth. Best battle on the speedway from about sixth on back. Doing a great job, and he's currently running in the sixth spot. A lot of company, though, for Rigsby as Tim Van Gotten and Jacob Lee's up there in the 21 trying to get things together as well. Scott Drake, still your leader. Was that lap eight? Again, Brian Mullen trying to find a way to make the low side stick as he exits turn two. It's a two man race, a two man breakaway, and then. Dan Wheeler all on his own in that third position. Ryan Bolin, your new leader that time by. He was able to edge by Scott Drake and take command of this one. He does make it sick that time off of corner number two. New leader Brian Bolin will bring it around to lead another lap here tonight for the Ironman B-Mod main event. Brian Bolin, your leader. Dan Wheeler running strong in third. The 07 car now on the move. That is Corey Krapser. Corey Krapser out of Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, started this race in the 11th spot. He is all the way up to the fourth position. Trevor Drake now back to the fourth position. And Bobby Magger trying to hang on to a top five, but he's got company to the low side. Good run between Bobby Magger in the 101 and the 21 machine of Jacob Lees. Jacob Lees now trying to make his way up to the fourth position, and he'll get it. But Blease, excuse me, up to the fifth spot. Blease now takes over the fifth spot. We'll keep an eye over here off of quarter number two. Driver being instructed to come down the speedway. Cole Cheevers able to get off the track. So tough break for Cole Cheevers, but nonetheless, we stay green. What's the last, guys? Uh, 12 right here. 
Coming around to complete lap number 12. Lap 12 that time around. Eight laps to go for Brian Bolin, Scott Drake, Dan Wheeler, Corey Krabser. Inside the top four, Jacob Lees currently running in that fifth position. The 44 of Trevor Drake right now in the sixth spot. He's got a lot of company though up on the high side. Bobby Magger now trying to pick up a spot. for that sixth position. Best medal on the speedway now shaping up between Dan Wheeler and Corey Kratzer. That is for the third spot. Winding down the laps at a quick pace here tonight for our Ironman BMOD 1,000 to win race. Brian Bowler right there, your leader in the 28th. Scott Drake in the 12th in second. Corey Kratzer now your new third place runner. Dan Wheeler in that one machine holding on to fourth. The 21 of Jacob Lease in the fifth spot. Jackson, another driver on the move, started this race in 16th. Jackson now trying to find a way to get inside the top five. He's got one more spot to move up here, but he's got to work on around six first. Good battle between the 65 of Chris Jackson and the 12 of Ryan Rigsby. That battle for six and seven. 17 down. 17 laps down, three remain for our Ironman B mods. Getting later and later in this one, a good, fast pace race. Now the 12 has problems. Tough break late in the event for the number 12, but Ryan Rigsby had been running in that sixth spot. He gives that position up to Chris Jackson in the 65, who's got a long way to go to try to make his way to the front. Ryan Bolin has checked out on the field once again here tonight over Scott Drake by a full straightaway length advantage. Corey Krapser is the man on the move as a white flag is set to fly one more time around for Bolin. Scott Drake coming off for a second. Corey Krapser right there in third. Dan Wheeler holding down fourth, Jacob Lease in fifth, and now Chris Jackson all the way up from his starting spot to the sixth position. He's gained ten spots. For the final time, he brings it off of quarter number four. Brian Bolin makes it two in a row. Your winner here tonight, Scott Drake will bring it home second. Corey Krapser, great run for him in third. Dan Wheeler in fourth. Jacob Lease brings it home in fifth. Chris Jackson with a nice run inside the top six here tonight to finish out our B modified main event. Yikes. Oh, Excitement at the finish line. Everybody able to cross the finish line. Not the way we want to see it happen. Is that rain? Good job, everybody. That's a great race. Brian Bolin makes it two in a row here in a commanding performance. You all deserve it. How long, Todd? Six minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> Probably the fastest B modified main event ever known yeah. to man being ran here tonight. Six minutes and 23 seconds, Lon. What an event that Brian Bolin had commanding that race. That's the way it should be. That means that's the way these guys can drive. And what an awesome finish we had here tonight, as you said, Sam. Who said they can't drive when they want to? They can, and what a show these guys put on. Brian Bolin picking up another big payday here tonight at Humboldt Speedway as the cleanup continues, unfortunately, as they finished it with the checkered flag. Great runs also out there. I'd like to highlight that from Corey Krapser all the way from 11th to 3rd in that one. Yep. And Chris Jackson also gaining 10 positions, or excuse me, 11 positions to make his way inside the top five. So great job by those guys really all weekend long. Indeed. Again, a great tribute to those drivers. Again, we appreciate them. Those, a lot of these guys travel a long ways for this USRA. B mod action. We appreciate their support. I mean, kind of the undercard. But well, uh, right here before the race, we were talking back there, and you're like wondering if they're going to do track work. I told you, I don't know, because Ryan doesn't tell me anything. But you were like, well, they're making fun of me because I'm running this B mod. But now you got three thousand dollars that you're going home with, getting ready for that big ten thousand win next weekend. Yeah, that's what we're just preparing for. It. Hopefully, we can go down and win ten on top of these three we just won. Yeah, the car was rolling real good there, and you were just you just took off and left everybody in the dust. So I mean, you kind of got the hometown advantage with all your fans, and then you're this kind of one of your local tracks. So everybody here was supporting you. Oh, I know. I, I heard it as soon as I got out. It's fun to race here. Well, congratulations again, Brian, on last night and a nice victory. So once again, congratulations, Brian Bowen, our USRA B mod feature winner.